Let's take a look now how to build a drum track by layering different drum kits and different beats in order to make the drum track more complete, more fulfilling and also more interesting. Again here we have our demo track that I built um, using different type of synthesizers but we're going to focus now on the, the drum part. As you can see I have three different tracks. The first two are built using the ultra bit in Logic. And I use some pretty much standard kit. This is a dub smash. And then we have a second one, which is built on more of an electro type of kit, Epic Electro. And then I have a third track that I'm going to discuss in a second. So the way I work usually I first start using and programming a beat. So let's listen to this one. This is the original beat that I started from. It's a fairly typical beat for electronic music. I have a 4-4 kick. And I have a typical snare on two and four and then I have a typical um, hi-hat pattern so the the group is pretty straightforward what I did though and what I like to do is to layer the same beat but assigned to a different drum kit so in this case I took the beat of the epic electro and I copied it into a, a dub smash kit and let's hear just the dub smash by itself. As you can see, it is similar, but it's not exactly the same. And what I did is to um, mute some of the sounds on the second kit. Um, and I muted the sounds that I was not interested in. As you can see, these are the the ones I muted. So, for example, I muted the hi-hat that I was not interested in keeping because I liked the first hi-hat, the original hi-hat I had. Now let's, let's hear the two kits together. In addition, on my dub smash kit, I added the typical sound on every downbeat of each uh, of each bar, the beginning of each bar. That adds a little bit of motion and it grounds the sound a little bit more. Again, okay, let's have a listen. Also, I programmed a little bit of a break here, this point in the song, in order to have a little bit of a, of a variation. And now, as you can see, uh, the kit is a little bit more interesting but I, st I was still needing something a little bit punchier in terms of kick and so what I did is I created a, um, a third track and this time I used battery from Native Instrument and using battery allowed me to select some really cool sounds uh, specifically uh, kick sounds and what I did is that I layer two different kicks and let's just listen to the two layer kicks by themselves as you can hear those kicks have a lot of presence and they complement each other when you layer sounds always try to have two or more sounds that complement each other so some might give you a little bit more of a deep end and another one might give you a little bit more of a, a punchy uh, sound. 
So now let's listen to the three drum tracks all together. In fact, let's try first without the uh, layer kicks. And now with the layered kicks. As you can see, this adds um, a much punchier type of effect that really grounds the beat. And as a final touch, I'm going to add my subsonic bass that uh, we learned in a previous video. Uh, I uh, compress with a sidechain compressor that was triggered by my layered kicks. And here you have it, this is how to create uh, a cohesive and punchy uh, drum beat with a nice sub bass.